Love Harmon here of What She Creating Enterprises. And today we will be working and using darning with the Kenmore 385 series sewing machine. So here are some of the things that you need before you get started. You will need an embroidery hoop as well as some fabric or your item at hand. Now, darning is used when you have worn out layers of garments and you want to mend the tears or the worn out areas. So let's get started. Let's talk about pre-settings first. So first thing you're going to do is make sure that your width is on 6.5 and your length can be any length, so I put it on three. You wanna make sure you're doing a straight stitch, so make sure you have it on A. And you're gonna to have to open this door and change your presser foot adjustment lever here. You're gonna put it on zero. So click it all the way up to zero. All right, let's close that back. And then on the back of the machine, on the back of the machine, this is um, the lever that drops the feed dogs. So it drops it and lowers the feed dogs. So you're gonna need to drop that. So let's go ahead and push it to the left and the feed dogs should drop or we're gonna, we wanna lower them, okay? So do that. Now, if you've never used an embroidery hoop, which I just learned how to do that. Um, embroidery hoop has um, an inner wooden circle and an outer wooden circle. So you turn this in order to um, take it out. All right, so you're gonna take the inner circle and wrap your fabric around the inner circle like that, and then put the outer circle on it and tighten. Okay, hopefully and tighten until you can't tighten anymore. All right, so it should be looking something like this. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is I'm going to have my fabric like this and not like that. Okay, so I'm going to turn it like this. Okay, let's get a close-up. I'm going to keep the presser foot on. I'm using the zigzag foot at the moment and you are going to lift the presser foot lifter up as high as it can go you know how you lift it you put it down in order to sew well let's lift it up really high so that we can insert in the embroidery hoop I'll make sure everything is flat and ready to go and i'm going to put my presser foot lifter down presser foot lever down and I'm going to do layers or rows with the fabric. So here we go. We're gonna go up and back and up and back. Make sure your machine is threaded correctly before you start. And so I'm gonna move this going up and then I'm gonna go backwards. So I'm gonna go slow and I'm gonna go up again. So just move the embroidery hoop up and back as you need to. gonna go across so I'm gonna turn the embroidery hoop and now I'm going this way Whoop -de -doo. I'm going up and back and up and back and up and back it's not perfect but you get the grip or you get what I'm doing and now I'm gonna turn the embroidery hoop this way and I'm gonna go back over this layer it's not perfect but I know yours will be perfect This way, uh oh, gotta put my needle on fabric. There we go. And now we're gonna go this way. Now we're done. Make sure the needle is up. Put, pull the presser foot up as far as you can. Take the embroidery hoop out. Cut that. And check it out. All right, so check it out. Not bad, right? I created the process of darning with my sewing machine. Perfect. Let's look on the other side. Not bad. Okay, so there we go. Thank you for watching this tutorial. 
Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave us your comments or other video ideas. Make sure you check out our Amazon affiliates list as well as other products on the website. Thanks for watching and happy sewing.